Today I will show you how to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 latest version on your PC or laptop. Now we will check if our computer is suitable for installing Windows 11, and for this, Microsoft has created a special application. Open the description of my video, and click the link to the Microsoft page. On this page, click here, and the application has been downloaded to the computer. You can close the browser, now open Explorer, then the Downloads folder, and double-click on the application shortcut. Install it on the computer. A window has opened and here you need to click, Check Now. Yes, my computer is suitable for the new Windows 11, now let's look at the details of the check. Everything is fine with my computer, but if the application showed that your computer is not suitable for Windows 11, do not worry, just open the description of the video and find a link to my other video, where I showed a method for installing Windows 11 on an unsupported computer. Before starting the process, you must create a backup copy of your personal files and save it on another disk, as all personal files will be deleted during the installation. I insert the flash drive into the computer, and now I need to make sure that there are no necessary documents and files on it, since during the process of creating a bootable Windows flash drive, all data will be completely deleted. You should know that a USB flash drive for our purpose must be at least 8GB in size, and as we can see, my flash drive is quite suitable. Now open your browser and in search right, download Windows 11. Or open the video description and click the link to the Windows 11 download page. The Microsoft page has opened. Here we can get acquainted with the installation rules for Windows 11. From this page we will download a tool for creating a bootable USB flash drive, for this we will click, here. The application has been loaded, and our browser can be closed. Now let's open File Explorer, and open the folder, Downloads. Double-click on the icon, and the application will start. Here you must accept the terms of the license, Accept. If you uncheck the box, in this window you can select the language for Windows 11. I left English, Next. In this window we can download the Windows ISO file to the computer, or choose to install Windows 11 on a USB flash drive, I choose to install Windows on a flash drive, Next. Here we see our USB flash drive and click, Next. Now we will wait for the procedure to complete to continue with our video tutorial. Okay, everything is ready, you just need to click, Finish. Let's open this PC, and look at the contents of our flash drive. ND here we already see all the files necessary to install Windows 11 on the computer. Ok, in order to install Windows 11 on a computer, you need to restart it and call the boot menu. Immediately after the reboot starts, Continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to call up the boot menu, I press the F12 key, for you it may be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call up the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive in the boot menu, press, enter. The installation menu opens. I'm not changing anything here, next. Next. You need to check the box here. Next. Here you need to enter the activation key, I had Windows 11 installed on my computer before, so I don't need to enter the product key and the new Windows 11 will be activated automatically. I click, I don't have a product key. To keep your Microsoft license, you must install the same edition of Windows. If you had Windows Home, choose Windows 11 Home, if you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 11 Pro. 
This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Since I had Windows Pro on my computer, I choose Windows 11 Pro. Next. I accept the terms of the license. In this window, we see all the partitions and drives connected to the computer. Here I have a partition with the old Windows and four small system partitions. To install the new Windows correctly, all these sections must be deleted. To do this, I mark each section and click, Delete. All old partitions have been removed, there is one partition left with unallocated territory and my USB flash drive. Next. You can now proceed with installing Windows 11 on your computer. Click, Install. We won't have to do anything for a while, the computer will automatically reboot several times. Please, don't turn off your computer. So, all the Windows 11 files are downloaded, and now we need to do some settings. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip. I will change the computer name later. In this window, you need to click, set up for work or school. Next. On this page, you can sign into your Microsoft account, but to get a local account, you need to click, Sign in Options. In the window that opens, click, Domain Join instead. And here we are on the page where you need to enter the local username. To continue the installation, you need to click Next, but before that I want to say one important thing. If you click, Next, a large package of additions to Windows 11 will be installed on your computer, and this will take quite a long time, but at this step you can refuse it. This is what this installation will look like. Those who want to install this, click Next, and wait for the installation to complete. For those who want to refuse them, I suggest simply disconnecting the internet cable, and the installation will complete much faster. Okay, I'm disconnecting the internet cable. Next. I will not create a password. I click, Next, and Windows 11 installation continues as usual. I accept the privacy policy. The new Windows welcomes us. Now you can restore your internet connection. Yes, the desktop of the new Windows 11 latest version opened. I hope everything went well for you too. I open settings. Then the account section. And here we see that my Windows 11 is managed by a local account. If you want to sign into a Microsoft account, then open the Your Info tab. Click here and then follow the system's recommendations. Let's check how the automatic activation went, for this you need to click, System, and open the Activation tab. In this tab, we see that the new Windows 11 is activated according to my digital license. I hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful, please share my video with someone. Write me a comment. I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck.